Why do we love soccer so much? Besides the fact that there are some very handsome players I think it is because it is feeding us stories. Stories we love to see. Hear and tell. Stories we don't know the outcome to. We are there when they get written. We have the classic. The good versus evil. The best and most entertaining matches in recent time were fought between Barcelona and Real Madrid. The little kid who grew up to be one of the best players of all time fathered by a guy everybody respected on one side. On the other side you have super sexy Cristiano Ronaldo and his coach you all just love to hate. That's some Star Wars shit right there. I was reminded of the fact why I love soccer so much on Saturday. So Bayern Munich won it. After stealing some money from the college funds of my son which is now in the negative I decided to gamble with the money I have. After all Papa needs some new shoes. I placed 40 euros on Bayern Munich winning it and then it hit me. Some of these players will become legends. They will all have their own story to tell. It will be up to them if it is one of a great loss or a great win. So after a good long and memorable spanking of my penis I started to think. Which story makes the most sense? Who will make the headlines? Will it be one of the old guys like Bastian Schweinsteiger or Philip Lamb? They know a thing or two about losing finals and they do not want to have that big fail in their career of never winning the big one. Will it be a youngster like Mario Royce or Thomas Muller who is 23 and already made three Champions League finals? Sadly Boner Man Goatse wasn't in the final I would have bet my whole life and my wife on him for showing off. Okay let's celebrate this for a moment. Boner 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 Will it be someone like Jailbait Hunter Frank Reberry? Well no. I placed 10 euros on a man who had something special going. Somehow he was destined to write this story. So tell me. How would you feel after not only losing a World Cup final where you had the chance to decide it? Miss the penalty in the German Cup final just to get screamed at by Sabatic. Miss the penalty in the Champions League final last year and getting shit from the Munich supporters in the first games out of the season? Losing your place in the first 11 to Tony Kroos? Well. This is how Robin felt. I tried everything to cheer him up but you are looking in the face of a man who is just devastated. Who knows he fucking blew it. Who would give it all to have that chance again. So this is how soccer works. Tony Crows gets injured and suddenly Robin is back from warming his balls on the bench. He scored important goals for example against Barcelona. And there he is in the final again. Getting that one chance to redeem himself. Normally I don't believe in bullshit and fairy tales, except Batman. He is fucking real. But don't you think this story just fits? I thought so too and placed a bet. He started out strong and could have scored like three goals in the first half alone while being all over the pitch. He wanted it and did not stop. After giving out the assist to the first goal of Bayern Munich good old George started to believe. I screamed like a little girl and shat myself a little bit when he scored in the second half sealing the deal for his team. Himself. His demons. And the story. So tell me. Why do we love soccer again? It is because of stories like this. They would be too cheesy to be in a movie and yet they are happening. This is why I love soccer. I blew the money on two hookers and went to bed satisfied. Satisfied with the fairy tale I just witnessed. I do not know about you. But there are a lot of story to be told next season. Mo Rindel going back to finish some business. The fearsome Bayern Munich adding Boner Goetze and Guardiola. A new coach at Manchester United. I for one am excited about the stories which will unfold in front of our eyes. Tell me if you liked me rambling about soccer and if you want to see more of that in the future. Tell me what I should ramble about. Tell me what stories you are excited about. If you want you can subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment and can we get to 1 billion 5 gazillion 300,022 and 7.68 likes? That would be Bukaki. George is out.